especially at DCAC. So basically, they're going to be on a four minute. They're going to be seeing the game on a six minute delay. There. But it's fine. <laughs> it's, 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 no, it's, it's not. I hit the go live. Or we're still on the start of the series screen. So we're good. Okay. It's having a little summer soon. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. Just let me know if you go ahead. Thank you. Oh, they're banned. Oh, of course. Yep. Got a Gregus ban, Cass ban, Young ban, Victor, Udir, Belvet. Hello, welcome, SCSU students and kids and siblings. My name is Brittany. We are back with our another SCSU League of Legends live stream. Today, I'm joined by one of the B team players with Connor. Hello, I'm Connor. I play mid lane for SPSU's blue team. And we are also joined by Connor's friend. Brett. I'll say I have not met Brett, so it's nice to meet you. <laughs> um, anyway, so we have already started our bands. We are seeing right now, SCSU has picked Senna for their first one. Their first three bands were Gragas, Cassiopeia, and Yone. And then we have Stockton picking theirs. Seeing, oh god. Bands are Belveth, Udir, and Victor. And that's Thresh and Syndra? Yep. Yeah. They got Thresh and Syndra so far. Getting their priority picks. Yes. Yeah. Seeing a Caitlyn pick on SDSU's side. Fucking brain this down. Oh my god, I hate that pick. There we go. And up. There we are. <laughs> And then we have an Echo. I'm imagining we're getting the Echo for Jungle. More than likely, as per usual. And a Varus. It's a very strong pick right now. Now we have the last two bands. First side is going to be Stockton picking their second to last band. Orn. Dialist band. That was kind of obvious. It's not Pike. Zion. Zion. Oh. Okay. Going to be SVSU. Oh. Not surprising. All right. Uh, last two picks so far. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, we're seeing a Vi jungle. Possibly. I can imagine. SVSU is now picking. We'll see if that echo does stay in the jungle or if it ends up going mid. Malphite. Oh, that's right. Brian does play yeah. echo as well. Um, mo <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Classic SVSU red. The Amumu jungle. Staple around these parts. Poor, poor Tommy. He's <laughs> back on the street. I feel for the man. <laughs> and a, a Mundo. Oh. Mm. I like that. I don't like that at all. Yeah, <laughs> me neither. That's pretty scary. So, Malphite and Mumu, Echo, Caitlyn, Senna, Mundo, Vive, Varus. Syndra and Thresh, possibly. Or Syndra and then Chris. But I don't like I don't like that. I don't like that Mundo. Yeah. There's a reason I'm SVSU's mid lane. I don't like dealing with that champion no. in any capacity. Yeah, I don't yeah. play the game. I just watch you guys well play the game and I don't even like it. Yeah. Well I think SVSU's got this in the bag. And yeah, now seeing them just run through this once again, because this is also a part of the, you know, three minutes away. 
Yeah, um, I don't know if you've actually seen the drafting process on here, but it just goes to this. It's gonna go through uh, their league draft, and then it goes right through it again. And then it actually sits there and it puts them in their proper spots from top to sport. And then we sit there on a three minute spectator delay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, it's definitely a first time at this point of view. I say yes, this is your first time casting in here. Yeah. And obviously Brett's too. <laughs> yeah. These bands do not really surprise me because I remember hearing SCSU like a little bit of their drafting process because uh, I was also doing a little bit of my own like side research and I definitely figured like Gragas and Silas are probably going to be banned for their jungle. I didn't really look at the others that much but like they all seem to play in uh, most of the spots in a, like an equal amount so it's like it's also difficult yeah. to see where they can actually be positioned as well yeah that would be pretty problematic for drafting yeah and then we're also seeing uh a few bands for jungle on their side as well um the udir and the velvet band which are kind of band which are kind of figured like you can figure that out easily and then the victor band because uh brian is cracked on victor very much so and then Orn, that's obviously one of Shane's go to, but they look like Malphite. And I'm not sure where they really got the Scion band, because I don't think I've seen anyone play Scion recently. Shane has a lot of points on Scion on this uh, account, so they probably see it and maybe get a little frightened. Like, what are you guys thinking about either of these team pops? Like, whichever one you guys want to discuss. I really think that SBSU's bot lane is going to be really ranged and poke heavy in their lane phase. Um, Caitlyn is very ranged, and so is Senna. Um, obviously, the Vi jungle, I think, is going to be a scary thing to deal with, but I mean, Abobo is also pretty annoying with the amount of CC he can dish out, so I don't know. For me personally, looking at SVSU's draft. I think the Malpha is going to be a really good pick into them because they've got a lot of low mobility champions by really being the only one with the dash. So I think just as soon as they can get that Malphite onto their back line, they've pretty much sealed the deal, especially with the bot lane's long range, like Brett mentioned. Right. I think we're looking good here. Yeah, I think it also helps that um the Tyler has also been picking up Vi recently. So he's also learned how to actually like play and function with Vi. Mm -hmm. So I think that also is going to help him as well, because then he'll understand like what Vi's mechanic is. He was originally they were gonna ban Gragas, and they like they're hoping that he doesn't go for Silas mm -hmm. because that's that's a big problem, and yes. that that is what you basically play a lot. Yeah. <laughs> is Silas, and as you know, Silas is a man. Can he? Just totally turn a game around. I think you're absolutely right. The for Tyler to be learning Vi to learn her ins and outs, uh, learn what she can do, will help him out a lot. And then we're this is our first game that we also get to see Brian play Echo. And from what I've heard, he's also cracked on Echo. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this. I haven't even seen it yet either. Okay. We're also seeing Lucas with Senna, which is normal. I'm surprised they let it through, to be honest. Uh, I'm kind of surprised they like, let one of them through, because normally it's either Senna or Sona. Mm -hmm. Or there is one other one. There is one other one, but I don't remember what it was. Soraka! Oh, yeah. That's what yeah. it is. And also, I don't know how many times Matt's played Caitlyn, but I know that anything like that, he was playing a Lulu in ADC earlier, and he somehow won with it. So <laughs> anything he takes, I would not surprise me if he wins with it. This is a very skilled player. Very skilled indeed. And Shane, who also was moved up to 18 this semester, who was on Malphite. So that's not surprising either, but any of these, we, we can see something here. Let's see something happen. Isley. What do we expect? True. Yeah. All right. SBSU's got blue side this game. Yes. That's good. That's a 
Always a nice side to be on. Who gets the first side in the first round? Because I know how they determine it after rounds now. It's determined by who in ECAC is deemed as the home team. Oh. The home team gets the starting pick. Okay. Honestly, I didn't think it changed, but I know they changed where it's like, okay, the losing team gets to pick whatever side they're on, though. I remember that. So, three, two, one. Send us in. Oh, Pip, I forgot my controls again. I'm sorry. I have a book of controls, and I keep forgetting them because they have hot keys. It's like the one where you can zoom out and see the entire like map or something. I, that one. I swear to God, it's Control Shift Z. I swear to God. Yep, it is. Kip, if you want to mess with it, it's Control shift, shift Z. Control Shift Z. Press those and scroll out, and you're good to go. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Welcome to Summoner's Rift, everybody. Ooh, Summoner's Rift. That is a glorious view. And we are seeing everyone space out. Oh, we can see a lot of them in the river. Yeah. Oh. Take us in, Pip. Oh, <laughs> I didn't expect for it to be that fast. We're seeing uh, Stockton's team kind of group up in the river. And already seeing them kind of like duke it out a little bit. Or at least I was expecting someone of a team fight. Yeah, it looks like that invade did not amount to much more, which is probably beneficial for SBSU here, considering they had all five all grouped up. So what about a little been pretty scary? Okay. Already seeing uh Tyler and Shane here. Looks like they're probably just gonna gank on the buff. That's all that it's gonna be. Or leashing, that's what it is. Beautiful. I also noticed Tyler did get a chroma for that, so it oh. is now a fancy colored skin. The whole new plane. I sure was... <laughs> You're now in bot lane. Bot lane is always the most entertaining lane. Oh, a hook already coming. Ooh. Great dodge when I space you. Disgusting. Yeah, that could have amounted to something much worse. We're kind of seeing just just a little bit of each lane duking it out a little bit, taking health. Echo is not looking good here though. Ooh, neither is that Mundo. Big damage with the early engage. Got this electrocute off. Big damage onto his laner. Ooh, quite a bit being oh, done here. Ooh. Ooh! Very nice. Ooh, coming in for the early gank block. They backed off a little too much. Hook just barely misses Caitlyn. Hmm. You're absolutely right. Botlane has definitely got the most excitement going on so far. Is because we have it on the like direct camera sometimes, and it'll normally just direct us down there. It's normally that's where most of the action is happening. Uh, yeah. I can certainly see it. It also depends on like which like heavy champs you have there too. Because normally that's also the big factor on it is who is dealing the most damage. Mm. That Mundo is never mind, both of them are not looking that good. Yeah, both just poking each other around. Which is normal, especially at the beginning. It's not just for them to be poking each other. 
They are seeing the minions die one by one, no? Getting the minions is truly very important for top lane, because if someone gets a little ahead, it can just snowball out from there. Definitely a big example on that too, unfortunately. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Tough as well, he doesn't use mana, so he's just getting all of his health back from these light trades. Ooh, which might be turning into a heavy trade. Ooh, oh no, ooh. Heavy jungler ooh. also top lane, looking for the point, flashes in. First blood given. First blood goes to Vi, that's the first kill on Stockton. I... Very unfortunate. Yeah, it's very. And then Seta just kind of staying back, which is probably a good thing for right now. Yeah, wouldn't want to. Wouldn't want to have Vi get down there. Oh no. Touched another hook. Double root. It's very nice. It's just really good. This hooks. Yeah. I think, uh, I think he's gonna have to work on that if he wants to get it, get a valuable pick in the late game. And then we just kind of dodge through mid lane. And we're also now looking at Thresh and Hill. No, as we look, or as we are like starting, uh, it's kind of a somewhat slow start to this. How are you feeling about this? Either one of you, which one are you? Are, how are you guys feeling? I'm feeling pretty good so far. I'm, I'm not feeling very deterred after uh, the top lane gank because, as we can see here, we've got SVSU getting the early dragon, which is a huge step. Objectives are so very important. I think we're still still doing great. Do we want to place bets on what soul we're going to see this game? Oh. Hmm. I... We've been seeing a lot of mountain souls lately, so it wouldn't surprise me <laughs> if that's it. First. I'll wager a Chemtech. Ooh, Chemtech. Yeah. All right. What about you, Brett? I was going to go the same thing, honestly, but I feel like I feel like I hate those. <laughs> Ocean, so I'm not gonna lie, I'm just gonna sit here and sit on the <laughs> The first day that the patch came out, that was what we saw. All the all three games three team souls. All three games were mountain souls, so it would not surprise me if we see another one. But I'll be open to something else. Already seeing Mundo. Ooh, they're both kind of at the same level of health. Definitely putting on the pressure. Forcing our top lane to sit back a little bit. Must out on some farm. Somewhat unfortunate. Ooh, Echo kind of getting hit there. That was not good. That was a lot closer than they might have thought they were. Ooh. Maybe something will happen around the hill. Harold is coming up. Lane's been pretty even, I would say, this game, which is kind of surprising. So normally we see one of them kind of snowballing. Yeah. But I think we'll more see snowballing in top lane this game. Depending on who it is. Yeah, we hope it's not going to be Moonbow. We, we hope. But at this point, either one can. Yeah, that's a Syndra going in. Ooh. Echo retaliating back. Goes back to then. Oh, it's going to be really close. Nice. Brian gets the kill. Nice, nice job. One. That was really close. That was very close. But he played it well. And he had the support of the move behind him. Ooh. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> Ooh, bye. Vi and Amumu are very close right now. Hmm. Lots of damage on the Thresh here. It took a, one too many steps forward. Ooh, Mundo taking some damage off of that turret. Ooh, no, no. That's no bueno. 
a lot of money in his pocket. Oh! Oh no! Oh no! This is not this good! Is not good. Ooh, all flashes away <gasps> by flashes ult. They trade that oh, though. My. Nice. Excellent collapse from SVSU. Do they pick the Mundo? Does he get out? Oh. Takes the blast cone. We still follow through mid. Mundo presses R. Oh. Oh. Echo taking a couple shots at it. Oh boy. Oh boy. Fine, now revived. This is looking much better for Shane now that he's got double buffs on top of it. Ooh. Maybe keep him there a little longer. Ooh, I feel already down to half health with Syndra. Yeah, that's scary. I don't know. After that one fight that he had with the support of Mumu behind him, we might see Echo turn up on this. That's true, yeah. Does have a oh, money just... advantage. Mumu hiding in bushes. Oh, never mind. Echo is also hiding in bushes. Mumu has left. Oh, Harold's still up. Nobody's gotten Harold yet. Mm. And that's where Mumu is. According to our mini map, anyway, I don't think it would lie to me. Ooh, Vi's clearing out vision on towards bot lane. I don't yeah. think that they realize that a move was on Harold. Don't so either. I think that's going to be really good for us. Move goes back up at spawn point. Malphite's now there. Oh, he t he TP'd though. Back out there. Oh, a Mumu successfully got it. Oh, it doesn't. It hasn't been giving us the message for it yet, so I've just been kind of keeping an eye on the counter. Ah. Yeah. So uh, SKSU has gone the first round. Echo barely escaping the clutches of Syndra. His ult with hers. Very nicely played. Escapes from that. Syndra's going down the river. Oh my mind, Syndra's coming back up the river. Lindo already has a full heart steel. Dragon's alive. Ooh. Ooh, we see an inferno one. Oh, hello, Mumu. You were you're there, quick. Mumu misses the pull. Ooh, we're seeing four of the five teammates up there. Top is still up there, but it looks like we see uh, Stockton kind of trying to push SVSU away from the break. Four have now arrived from SVSU, contesting the skull, looking for the dragon. I guess VSU is now getting the Drake. So it looks like Stockton is trying to stop them, but is the Thresh missing another hook? <laughs> Stockton, Drake, the game goes to SUSU. This is a big thing for SUSU. Is it maybe behind at the beginning of the game? It is the Chemtech Sword. What? I call it. <laughs> I'll give you credit, too. That would be your first option. <laughs> <laughs> SVCU just seems to like kind of be back, but it does seem that they do very good on objectives, and that's what gets yeah. them back. Objective play is a large part of their plan for sure, and they're very much capitalizing on it. Now, if I stroll in right back up there to Mundo, Sandra getting caught with the horde. With Echo killing it. Oh, Amumu and Vi together again. Oh no. Oh, never mind. He's got. Oh, there you go. Very nice. Having the help of Senna and Caitlyn definitely helps there. Absolutely. Are they having Dom play the first game? Harold in bot lane. And up Thresh is the only one at the turret. Oh, never mind. I see. Brought that turret down just below half health. Yeah, I guess that would be kind of good. I don't think buildings should have health, but <laughs> that, you know, that we'll go with it. That's really good with the video games. Oh, yeah.
not a lot going on right not now. Really. Everyone just kind of sitting in lane, waiting for the next objective to arrive. Pretty much. We do see Mundo at kind of low health. No, I think kind of. <laughs> yeah, one ultimate will bring him right back up to full. Oh, well, well. Coming back. Mumu on blue buff. Oh, Mundo coming down, though, trying to also hit him. I'm seeing a lot of pings on the video. <laughs> yeah, I'll give it first. That's not looking up. He's already long gone. He's gone. What a great name. That's absolutely right. That's what makes first strike so good with her. Her range is incredible. I'm just looking at all of them and it disgusts me. <laughs> uh, like the champions themselves, it's awful. <laughs> Oh, back is over the wall. It oh. turned on to buy. Oh, and Echo gained up on buy, but. Ooh. But I escapes. A bit of a skirmish there. It's okay. They did bring Vi down a little bit on health, though. So that's always a plus. True. Still a very close game. I think the only thing that we're seeing a problem with right now is uh, SCCU has three objectives. Yep, that's contributing very much to their wins in these fights so far. Oh, Ooh. he trades one for one mid lane. I'm guessing his ultimate just didn't quite go off before that last last hit of Cinder's ult. Oh. Yes. Uh, that's not Lee. <laughs> oh, there's Lee. Thank you, Pat. Once again, uh, something's coming up now. I see timers coming up. Drake and uh, either Harold or Baron. I imagine it's another Harold. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. The timers are up. I forgot. It is a Harold. Harold coming up in about 10 seconds, Countat coming up in 30. Finding gators onto a moon. Scuttles going on. Small scuttles. We're not seeing much happen coming though. Yeah. Harold is up. Mundo and Vi. Oh, and up Syndra. But it looks like Vi and Mundo might be taking care of vision on that. Malphite and Mumu coming in as well. That's nice 3v3 for Harold, it looks like. Maybe down to a 2v2 now. Oh, Malphite coming in to try and lure the Vi away, but never mind, Vi is still getting the Harold. Then get the sun. Try getting a Mumu, unfortunately. Looks like this is here. probably going to have to get this Harold. Unfortunately, Harold going to stocked in this game, or this time. Contact is up as well now. Looks like we will also be seeing Baron in approximately two minutes. Baron buffs are also huge. Yes, it is. See the Yeah. 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 I can only imagine how annoying that is for a melee champion to go against someone with such range. Mundo and Malphite also in a little bit of a battle. I don't think we're seeing Bot and uh, Jungle kind of going after the drink for a little bit. Although I did see at the corner of my eye, it looks like we have a couple people off of Stockton up at the top. It's really, really, really big for SPSU to get this dragon. Puts them one away from Soul. Dodges another hook, they engage on the bot lane. Dragon is taken from SPSU. SPSU is taking dragon once again. Stendra taking out Senna, unfortunately, though. Mundo getting a turret as well. Ooh. Triple kill for Syndra, unfortunately. Oh, that's disgusting. That is very scary. 
it's going to prove to be a real problem for our bot lane, given the fact that Cinder can very easily totally annihilate them. <laughs> well, SVSU did get the dragon, which is very good. So if nothing else, it's a step in the right direction, yeah. Looking a little low on health here. Yeah. Which is not good. I'm very curious to see where this game will go once the top laners start getting in these fights. Uh, I, it'll go downhill for one team. I don't know what team it'll be, but it'll go downhill for one. A Mumu has just hit level 10. Waiting now. It does look like bot lane is, is trying to get this turret, maybe. Yeah, they're very close. Oh, Thresh onto the Senna. Gets under tower. Oh, Too so... much damage. Yeah. Thresh finally hits one. It's no good. Oh, oh going on to... Oh, misses oh. that one, though. Wow. Oh... Not looking okay. so great statistic wise. Should be one top, looking pretty tough. Bottling down a bit, mid lane down a bit. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Oh, and Caitlyn falls. We do have Baron up as well. It looks like just under three minutes for the next race. Harold being. Oh no. Oh, that's not good. Definitely in a lot of trouble here. Definitely not good with them pushing top lane, and now both turrets and top lane are gone. And it looks like the first turret in blue, or blue, bot lane is gone. <laughs> blue size bot lane. It works. You know what? <laughs> we'll go with it. <laughs> Bye, taking my red buff. Time for them all to reset after all these fights. Probably got a lot of money. Buy better items and then we are uh, screwed. Looks like they're up by 5,000 gold, give or take. Uh, 7.2, I believe? 7.1? Something like that? 7.8? And they're up four turrets, which is also not good. Yeah, we've got the neutral objectives, they've got the tower objectives. It's definitely going to prove to be an interesting game. Val and Lindor are up there probably waiting to see if SCC will go for Baron. Got a less than a minute and a half on Chemtech Greek. Looks like SCC is trying to collapse top lane and get something onto this Mundo. Oh. Vi also coming in though. Oh no. Flash. Mundo. Mundo all. Very nice. Vi and personally getting Sana though. Ooh, this, um, this Mundo. Ooh, disgusting. What is the taking down Vi though? Varus unfortunately taking down the Amumu. Yeah, got a nice hook down to Mundo it. taking out Caitlyn. That's what I'm going to on Caitlyn, yep. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Not oh, enough to get him in there. We also have Syndra and Fatley and split pushing. Yeah, Where is Malphite when you need him? Where is Malphite? Ow! Malphite! You! There you are! Malphite and Center are back up. Looks like Mumo is coming back up right now. Caitlyn coming up next, and then Echo. I don't know why, I just realized Pip's laptop needs to update or something, and I don't know why it's bugging me. It's not looking... Seeing Dragon as well. Oh, ooh! 
Yeah, this is definitely a big one. As you need to get this dragon. This is a dragon fight right here. Yeah, it's either SPSU either gets this one and then they get Soul, or they could also go for Baron, which might be a little beneficial right now. But it's also they do kind of need to do something here. They need to figure out a little bit of a game plan. That's the wall that is Mundo. Cinder got a lot of CC in the back line. Dragon is low. Let's see who gets it. Yep. Got it. Oh, the engage is going in. Oh. SP2 is in a really tough spot. Can anyone get away? No. They're both so long. It's an ace for Syndra. Ooh. 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 Oh. Just not good. Definitely First not. Drake on their part, though. However, they are pushing in. And then our first yeah. one's coming up in. I even it's gonna be a moon. However, there is a wall. So I don't know how good a moon is gonna do with this here wall. Senna's back up. Caitlyn's up. That Malphite coming up in five. Echo coming up in five. SCSU is fully back up. Now. Um, they might be looking for the third here. Maybe we'll just get the tower and move. No, they're going for it. They're pushing. All three inhibitors oh, down. Now oh. they're going up. Now they're trying to run away. This is not good. Nothing else. This gives SPSU the opportunity to try and farm back up so that they could maybe win a, a fight later on. But oh, Malphite engage. Echo taken down though. Or SPSU seems to be okay, kind of staying away. I think even though with the loss of two for a gain of one, it was still worth it. That Cinder shutdown was so important oh. for them. Malphite coming back up to try and get the Mundo away though, because they're getting a little close to the Nexus. It's not looking to be an SPSU's favor at the current moment. Probably the only thing they could get away with is maybe trying to go for a Baron still. Could turn I was the say, game. Baron is still up. It has not been touched. <laughs> Baron has pretty much been left alone. Although I see Vi and Mundo on it now. Is all the team? Yep, Syndra is also coming in. Looks like we got all of the team of Stockton on it. They're gonna already down to half health. Looks like SCC is not coming up towards it, so they got Baron. This is just too beat up. Yeah, had to protect it. Couldn't get anyone out there in time. Syndra stunned into the mid laner. Already coming up to try and shove them in the mid lane. mid and it looks like they're also coming in from top going to be seeing quite a bit of damage done here I imagine on the center. she falls in the face echo trying to make something happen Malphite all goes in Senna, or Syndra getting echo unfortunately big Amumu all hits three of them shut Malphite down to Syndra down. again oh uh, a minion has destroyed a turret, if anyone was wondering. It's simply not enough. Uh, the minions are too strong. Oh no. Oh, my god. Yep. Oh. Oh, the, oh no, the emo. It's VSU falls game one. That's okay. SCSU gets to choose what side they get to and hopefully... They're gonna be able to pick a different one, but now we get stat. Oh. Never mind, I guess we don't get stats. That's okay. But now it looks like SCSU is picking blue side again. 
Uh, Mix some bands here Hope for the best. I imagine we might be going with a similar one, although we might try and ban something like Mundo or Syndra since those were, or pick a heavier, like a more closer like matchup for them as well. Yeah. The Malphite and Mundo wasn't that bad no. until Mundo got a couple picks. Yeah, I mean the fact that he could just get away from. 2v1s and 3v1s. Really hard for SVSU. Just denying so much money and experience. He was completely empty. You're not seeing any of uh, Stockton Bloom's team. They forfeit. <laughs> Did they leave after day one? <laughs> I'm kidding. We did not. We are just like uh, waiting through an intermission for them, most likely. Yeah, usually we get at least a five minute break in between our games. Oh, but it was an exciting match. I think SVSU's early game was, was pretty good, all things considered. They got all the dragons they wanted, they got a few good picks, and they were staying even. But we got a little snowball -y. Yeah. Couldn't get it under control. Yeah, that's the only problem is they had a very snowball-y like, team comp on Stockton's side. So any like small advances that they got, it was definitely pushing them to where they could not, SSU couldn't control it anymore. Which really sucks. Yeah, definitely a tough loss. But can't let it affect you. you Got to move on to game two with a positive mental attitude. <laughs> yeah, but Erica, how is uh, the other team doing? Very nice. This is Blue doing very well so far. Ooh. Even in kills, up in gold. Okay. <laughs> oh, we have them starting to pile in. <laughs> oh, we have, and never mind. We just have the mid laner, which who is? I think I'm Dylan. They are unsure of their identity. <laughs> the other four have. Enjoy have been joined into our invites. We are just waiting for them now. So Brett, how are you enjoying SVSU and this commentating style? Or how are you enjoying anything? I mean, it's it's been like a few years since I've been to the Student Life Center. Honestly, it's like ten times better than when I last stepped foot in here. Uh Let's see, we graduated 2019, so it would have been November 2019 is when I was here for one semester. And all it was was literally just like one TV and like a couple consoles they had. So I think it's definitely come a long way um, in the development. Definitely a lot of difference since I've been here. <laughs> but, yeah. Especially I mean, now that they have like a full on esports room yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, exactly. um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Everybody I've been here is super nice and friendly and really welcoming so i've been having a great time so yeah most of us are pretty chill so <laughs> <laughs> they let the akali through yeah <laughs> oh my god Really yeah. awesome work coming out here from SVSU Blue. Surprised that most of those were let through. Do you think they tried to ban me out? Did we? Did they know that? How was one? I was like, who's the one? Wow. <laughs> Jeez. Hmm. 
Um, still don't have their team up. I'm concerned. Uh, Pip, can I get a little intel? Is everything okay? If I go do something, I don't know if he has the headphones on. mean for there to be awkward silence but there isn't anything going on yeah <laughs> i really don't hearing over the blue team there i would say blue team over there since we have access to it might as well like i to watch that as well just the audio analysis here scuffle happening mid lane with the bot laners oh big collapse from all teams coming in here snowball. here's snowball zaya gets a big stun on all three oh. You know, all under tower. Get stopped by Nautilus. Allowing. Allowing just coming in. Destroying. Yeah. A colleague coming in from the back side. Gets a pick on Noble Block. I Very can't. Easy. I can't believe they let most of those through because <laughs> I'm looking at most of them and it's like, why? These are all just comfort picks for, for Blue Team. Yes. Wow. Oh, cool. we are seeing their team finally come in. Harold. Oh, Harold. Puppy. <laughs> so not able to do anything set down by Red Team. Two towers taken up, two dragons to one. Midway to their tower falls. I'm seeing them start to come in. It looks like they have the draft link coming up. They have given us the spectator draft link, so draft is going to be starting for E team once again. We hope I get, I keep calling her A team, but I remember I gotta remember we it's red and blue now. We <laughs> we'll see how blue team is doing after our draft. Yes. They now have spectating draft. All right. Looking forward to this. Looking forward to see. Seeing SPSU Red's adjustments to that game, whether if it's in band phase and picks or in play style. I have a feeling. Oh, that's those are previous. <laughs> oh, you're looking through tabs. Never mind. I'd say I have a feeling we might be seeing more of the change in our picks rather than bands. But it could just be my my preference. I don't know. <laughs> I had to throw a guess out there. I would think maybe the uh, the Caitlyn and the Senna probably stay because they were doing very well in lane. Unfortunately, the Amumu might stay. <laughs> maybe to Matt Tyler's enjoyment. But it was good for, for what it served. You know, he finds that champ to be a boring, so <laughs> I am so sorry for him. He also, since he's picked up Vi, he has described her as a point-and-click game. That has been great to hear. He's 100% correct. I see. He says he doesn't he doesn't enjoy playing Mumu because it's just, literally just pressing two buttons. That's how he describes Mumu. He has learned Vi as a point-and-click game. Um, how I'm trying to think of how... Uh, Belveth is considered big fish god. Yeah. Just, it's Belveth, so. Stacks upon stacks upon stacks. I would love to see his Belveth again, I'm oh, sure. Oh, God. Want to play for him. <laughs> he plays it so well. Love to see it. Seeing any of the, like, his comfort champs, it would be great. Because he does well on any of them. But yeah. we have a Moomoo. <laughs> as long as a Moomoo exists, he's there. It's okay, Amumu is getting nerfed. <laughs> he is getting nerfed.
Oh, cool. Thanks, Pip. I, I, I see you just... Yes, I see it, Pip. Thank you. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> well, the first band has come out. Mundo and Velvet. I... Oh, well, Inviting. Wonderful. I was pretty prevalent. Seeing another Belvas and Udi van on van van, Christ van on Stockton. Oh, Erica, would you like to know the news that Pip was uh, frantically telling me? Uh, SVSU blue team has won their first game. Let's go. He sat there. He's just like in a new tab. He opens it over. He types it up at the URL. Is just circling his mouse around it. <laughs> See another Silas fan. Yeah, I don't. I wouldn't want to mess with that. Yeah, no I offense to you, Connor, you. but. Oh no! I, I, uh, <laughs> don't worry. And a Victor ban off of Stockton's, and now we see the first three picks on each side. First one for SDSU Red is going to be drum roll. I don't have any uh, anything else, and I don't want to wreck the laptop. Ferris. They took it from them. Ooh, interesting. Another Syndra. Oh, That's. Oh, and they're taking Caitlyn. Yeah. Possibly. Possibly. Because they haven't finalized it. But I would imagine that's probably what they're going to pick. Unless they're going to, like, juke us out or something. Oh, I don't know. Awesome. Good luck on your quest, Erica. I wish you luck in your game. Oh no, they picked Samira. Samira. That's an interesting pick. I think that would be healing over. healing because it wasn't finalized yet. They were going to switch. Hmm. Didn't want to, like, switch ADCs? No? <laughs> Don't want you to see that? That kind of surprises me. Samira thrives in an environment with uh, support that's good at landing hooks. And as we saw last game, Took him a while to get there. <laughs> Where's he go? Oh, no. Oh, he had Ord. Nope, we're doing Sion. All right. Let's go. Ooh. Oh. Seeing third pick from SVSU. I want to see randomly just here, Cogmo. I don't know why. Just just a Cogmo. Or a Nar. Corky! Oh, the Corky. Ooh! I don't know. I love Nar. Nar's, Nar's cute. He's great. I was told I'm crazy because he turns into this big, like, beast. But Nar is adorable. He's very cute, except when you land against him. Then it's like... <laughs> okay, that's normal, I feel, for most champs. That's true. I guess you could just say... Hi, Rexia! Oh, yeah. wow. All right, last two bands. First one starting up for Stockton. Ooh, ooh, Senna oh, band. Senna. Makes sense. Makes sense. Don't want to give the big pick. Next one off of SVSU side. Gragas. Mm. Last one for Stockton is a Nami. Oh. Okay. When's the last time Lucas played a Nami? You know, I don't know. For the intermission during the three minutes, we're supposed to go and play clips from the previous streams because I figure out I can't go up with the stream, so it's not just staring at the intermission screen. Okay. Last one is Nautilus. That's very, very oh, smart. Oh, it is. That's a top one. I don't like this. I don't like this yet. Yeah, it's pretty scary so far. Uh, from what I heard, Zach is annoying to go up against. Extremely. Great. All right, what are we seeing for this next pick off SEC set? Yeah. They gave him the Soraka. I agree. I think that's a good pick for them. And our last pick for SEC set, we need a chunk. Oh, Warwick! Oh, okay. I know I was warming up with this in the random game that uh, Matt decided to do a Lulu ADC. 
Yeah. Even five zero and eight, so I, or five three and eight, so I can't really be mad at that. Elena for their last pick. Okay. This is. This is how I feel about this. Yeah, this is definitely a much more interesting game. We're seeing still similar bands, but we're also seeing new bands from like the previous, from what happened in the previous game on both sides. I, I still would like to know where the Nami came from, but I won't question it. But now we're gonna go through this process once again for another three minutes. If I want your opinion, I can understand why they banned the Vi though. That that was it was a bit of a problem. Yeah. Especially for poor Momo. Yep. He he suffered a bit from it. I think we were gonna see him Momo again, honestly. <laughs> Warwick now. <laughs> yeah, um, that'd call me out. Seen Brian play Corky in a while. I'm pretty sure he played Corky in one of our first games. I think he did too, yeah. Oh, yeah, nice I don't need more enemies. I <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Now we see their last two guys, and then we get to see the same thing that we that we saw previously. Uh, how are we feeling about cops this time around? <laughs> if one of y'all just want to take one side, one wall want to take the other and argue about it, go for it. Be my guest. <laughs> just don't fight. <laughs> I can't separate that. <laughs> I think SPSU made a really good decision in banning Nautilus. I think Nautilus Samira is way stronger than uh, Samira and Leona. So I think that's really good. I think that'll give our bot lane just the edge it needs. But otherwise, after seeing what that Cinder did before, that's that scares me a little bit. How do you feel with it going up against a Quirky this time around? I think in laning phase, it'll be better um, for for Corky compared to when it was Echo, just because he's got a lot more range and they're both just going to be poking down at each other. And Corky actually has a pretty good escape against Zach. He's got enough uh, mobility to get out of there. So, all things considered. I'm pretty torn. I mean, I think, obviously, we're rooting for SVSU here. I think they've got it in them to win it, absolutely. But it is, it does look pretty scary. I'm looking forward to it. How are you feeling about Stockton's Brett? Uh, well, I can tell you that I hate Samira. She's very powerful, especially in support like that. And, I mean, as we saw from last game, the support maybe sometimes struggles to hit some of those really CC heavy abilities. Um, which Samira really thrives off of. So, uh, I mean, really, at the end of the day, I think that's really just what it's going to come down to is if that support's going to be good enough to be able to get in there and give Samira the setup that she needs to really get in there and deal as much damage as possible. Um, Syndra, of course, obviously, last game, she became a pretty big problem. So that's kind of concerning me a little bit. Uh, and Zach, I mean, yeah, Zach is always going to be a really powerful pick. He's tanky he's you know yeah he's zach so he's he's gonna have really good gank potential but i mean yeah of course i think sbsu is gonna be able to win it if... i wonder also uh, if uh the zach is a like a, a secondary backup for uh for the samira just as another form of really high cc just to just to get her going, but oh, yeah. I, I want to give credit where credit's due to to Lucas for picking Soraka because that Soraka silence will just totally shut down Samira oh, if he oh, gets yeah. it. Hey, did you seriously cut out a clip of that? Of them going round and round? <laughs> <laughs> did you seriously cut a clip out of that? Admittedly, that was pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> I have to explain. Uh, this happened last time, and uh, Tyler and Lucas, they were bored, and they were waiting in the dragon pit for the Back dragon to, to come. And uh, since they were bored, they just started ulting and just, like, spinning around in a circle. <laughs> like, it was, like, bringing around the rosy. It was funny. 
Yeah, I just kind of want to, uh, for what you guys have seen, we're just showing you the view of our other games. Um, as per usual, it is Mondays is Smash, Tuesdays is Valorant, Wednesdays is Rocket League, and Overwatch 2, and then obviously Fridays, it's Leaf. League of Legends! Woo! The, the worst of them. <laughs> <laughs> I won't lie. <laughs> Yeah, say not. We've been trying to find something to do for our intermissions thing, and uh, we've gotten a lot better with our layouts yeah. this semester. Um, wow, it's so crazy. Yeah, wow. <laughs> wow, it's crazy. Oh, okay. Rocket League. How to confuse people even more. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was very nice. Oh, yeah. I also like to point out uh, Rocket League did get their first win this season. What's uh, going Like the League? first week, so I'm very proud of them. Yeah. Because awesome. um, I hate to say it, but they're already doing better than last semester. Yep. <laughs> them Poor being, guys. Uh, I, I hate to call them out, but them being the first uh, team or the only team to not get into the playoffs. Definitely. Very, it's it's tough. But you know what? They're doing better this semester. They have two teams, so I have a round of applause to them. Yeah, great news. And then obviously have Valor, which I've heard now has uh very good, very good teams as well. So love that. Yes. Especially for as competitive a game as Valorant's become. I've always told myself I'll go back to Valorant one day. <laughs> Spent so much money on skins. What is that? Oh, was that Good old SPSU Blue. My tried and true. They are to ride. All right. The game has begun. Skins. I was going to laugh at those poor schmucks. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, these. Ooh. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. Oh, Let's go. Let's go. Oh, why is it? Where is this? The summer's rift. Hmm. They didn't seem very. Oh, there we go. Okay. That... I wonder if the models were just working on each other. That seemed a little glitchy. Yeah. Oh, right. There's 200 viewers. You make it more, you make it better, and then here's Lee. Game you've had for so long. Oh. Here's Valor. We we've, we've done be better with this. <laughs> Enjoy this. And Wild Rift. Yeah, yeah. Right. PC. Oh, <laughs> I did hear their skins into PC though. I heard about that too. I'm looking for I'm them. happy because some of the skins in Wild Rift just come out. So good. So good. All right, looks like not much of an early scuffle this game. We're just going to kind of handshake each other and play the game as normal. This is going to be very good. Oh, we already got some scuffles over in mid, but we see them hitting their buff. Oh, uh, the, what, what happened? This is not our game. <laughs> This is one of our previous games. Everything all right, Pip? Oh, there we go. <laughs> I don't know. Pip, if you need to, there is the side chat as well on Discord. That would also help if you need to talk to us if the headphones aren't working. Unless I just don't have the volume. <laughs> You know, one side says game, one has chat. Oh, boy. <laughs> you can dash as much as you want, Aurelia, but Sion's just gonna stay there. <laughs> <laughs> you want a wall? Mundo ain't a wall anywhere. Yes, Sion. What an incredible poke while I'm there. Already shoved under their tower. Wow, we've got a lot. There's a lot going on now. This is 
Okay, this game. Yeah, both both mid laners have first strike here, trying to get as much money as they can in these cheap trades. But oh, we got the Warwick mid. Get as much damage as you Ooh. can under that Syndra. Not bad at all. Did not get a summoner, unfortunately. But damage is damage Ooh, nonetheless. I, I, I just noticed Sion. I don't know why. Especially that model. Very close spot. Like, this is a little scary mountain. I must know, because they didn't point it out last game. SVSU and uh, Stockton had a higher goal in the start of the game. Hopefully, you know, that's kind of, that just kind of happens. But now we're seeing SVSU with a higher even though Even if it's a small amount, we're seeing SVSU with a higher amount this time around. Which helps in the long run. Very nice dodge. Oh, from the side. Ooh, barely oh, trying to get oh, away, oh. so make it. He's trying to get as much damage and farm as he can get. Alright. I can get that blob. Yeah. First blood, unfortunately, lost again. In a very similar manner to last game, actually. It's something for the last game. It's a lot earlier this game, though. Mira Flash to get out of there. It would have died if she didn't. Warwick is an enemy jungle! Oh, never mind, he's crossing there right now. Oh. Very nice flash from the Croaky. Yeah. <laughs> I can hear his heartbeat from here. He was definitely <laughs> stuck. Forgot we can also see pings from both teams, and we are already seeing a lot of them take flash. <laughs> Oh, both Sion and Quirky used it. Oh, yes. Well, yeah, I don't know how good this Irelia is going to be up against this here Sion. Well, she's definitely going to move a lot, but... Uh, the wall? <laughs> <laughs> the wall? <laughs> oh, we see bot later. Are you trying to... Oh, never no. I see the jungler behind the drake. But it looks like SCSU is already going to take the first strike once again this time around. Very good for them. And that is a mountain drake. But we can't get mountain soul this game. Let's see, I can't, I can't say mountain soul. Um, Alright, place your bets, everybody. What's Let's see this game? Oh, we watched this guy earlier. Beat on the Scion. Yep. Not the dashes. I'll throw one out there. I'm going to say we can see an Inferno Soul. That was going to be my initial thesis. So I'm going to throw a hashtag. Ooh. I'm going Ocean. Tried and true. Double down. I'm tried and true. <laughs> I'll get it eventually. Absolutely. We got the two games left, so yeah, you got to see it one way or the other. Yep. Ah, uh, let's see. This is a uh, very, very interesting. Corky's kind of able to handle this and move with it. I think that's better because Corky's a lot more ranged and can definitely get. I uh, try to get out of the range of that Syndra a little bit better. So. And if nothing else, he's just he's making up for the money he lost last game from Syndra's first strike by also having it this game. Right. So. Oh, good pick. Oh. oh, I think that. Really? What did we do? Hey, Kobe! It's basically the same, right? Alawi, Udir, Ooh, Akali, Oh, Zaya, Duh. Oh, they took the Amumu away, though. That... Ugh. Looks like we got some trouble mid lane. Barely makes it out. 
Sorry about that, folks. We roll. Yeah, we're it's a little mini game. <laughs> As he goes back to spawn. Oh, Zach taking vision out on Harold. Warwick coming right back up, though. Uh, according to minimap. Scion. Actually, he's coming up a lot sooner than I anticipated. Ah! Scuffle top when Scion bolts out of the way. Classic. Oh god. Thank god, that's all that eh, Zach. <laughs> <laughs> so gross. Ooh, that... Oh the next Drake's Inferno. Ah, I'm still in it. I'm out. <laughs> Thank god I did not place a physical bet on this. <laughs> I would I would be out. We're seeing that in under two minutes. We do have Harold up. Uh, nobody is around the Herald, though. Seeing... Hopefully they can try for this dragon as soon as they can. I think what makes SPSU so good at taking dragons like they did last game is because of our, our bot lane. They're so far up, they've got a oh, lot of priority. They can just always get in on it. Ooh, Warwick taking some vision. Bye-bye, Vision. You don't get to see. True. Is that you were going to stay back, trying to stay alive, but really made, I mean, an aggressive Soraka with that silence but really you just shut it away. Or adulting onto Syndra. Corky oh, goes in there trying to get down with Zack. Oh. Lots of damage going through. Tons of scenes. It's oh, so Saves the day. Disgusting. <laughs> He escapes with his life. Yeah. Ricky and Warwick! <laughs> Zach was trying to get Warwick as well. Uh, a situation. Soon, because both the mid laner and the jungle are very low HP. He comes back and Zach attacks. Flashes in on him. Gets the kill. Leona flashes in. We've got a big botlet problem now. Oh, God. Just slowly walking away. Don't let Samara get in on top of them. As I was saying, this provides a problem for Dragon. I mentioned we had that bot priority, but it is also very important for Dragon. Of course, the jungler. So we'll see if it falls. The jungler is coming right back up. It looks like Dragon is coming up in less than 10 seconds. Warwick's just kind of waiting, but we do have Zack on Herald. So Zack is going to potentially take Herald. SCSU does have the potential to take this Drake. Yeah. They know he's there, they can easily make the trade. It does look like there is no vision according to any wards around them, so I don't think they'll know if he's on Drake. Although it do it is important that he does have at least someone down there to help, because I do see Syndra coming down from mid lane. You know what goes in on the bot lane? Oh. Syndra fighting the war with. Oh. Out of dragon pick. Samira taking out Soraka, unfortunately. We yeah. are seeing Corky try to push Syndra out of the way. Drake's gonna go back in there and reset, which is no good either. It's not fun having to reset on that dragon. Yeah, it gets CC'd really hard. Varus trying his best. Varus gets the pick. Warwick's still alive. Double, Double kill, kill. Leona. Wow. Incredible amount of wow. team display Red team summoning the Herald, however. It looks like they summoned it up in... Ah. Yes. It looks like we still have a turret on there, though. But it does look like Zack is around. Warwick's trying to chase after him. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Leah going in on Scion. Scion Sandra has no ult. Coming right back ult down as well. Ooh, I really think out Scion. Zach and Syndra are down here. Which is no bueno, but we do have Soraka and uh, Warwick trying to get them out. Ooh! Corky. Oh. This point. He could really disrupt a team fight. Ooh! Varus trying to take out Zach. Samira taking out Warwick. 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 War
Nice, very good pick. Double kill. This is a great Falls shut down for the mid laner. That's just as good. Mid and bot are gonna go in, or take just take vision away. Oh, it does look like Corky is starting it. Very smart. Warwick's gonna be there soon. Warwick is on his way up through bot. Very nice fight from this VSU Red. Ties the game back up to five kills apiece, but two dragons in favor. Best VSU. There's Warwick. There's the Doge. <laughs> And there goes an Inferno Drake. All right. What's the soul? Chemtech soul again. Oh. Darn. Dang. All right. I'm not going to the casino anytime soon. Maybe we could just start placing bets on blues over there as well. <laughs> <laughs> ah, nice team fights and nice uh, double kills for Varus. Yes. That is definitely uh, crazy. That was absolutely what they needed. Can you bring up the staff people for me, Tim? Please? Yeah, Thunder Range is simply <laughs> just <laughs> you know, Every time I see that. Aurelia really damage. I mean, you can build as much armor as you want on Scion, but Aurelia's magic attacks when she, or her attacks, do magic damage once she gets all those stacks. A very, very like decently close game right now. Still, being 15 minutes in. Unfortunately, Aurelia does take the first turret though. A lot of money. They both got first blood and first tower. Ooh, and we get... Oh, we just a massive CC chain. Aurelia flashes out. Scion follows, gets the shutdown. Excellent work from them. Love it. Love this. Notice Varus made a very smart decision. He brought the exhaust instead of the support from the exhaust so that he can get that Samara off, and Soraka will just have so much more heals going for him. That also helped in the case of Syndra as well, just get as much damage reduction as he can for all these champions that can just jump on top of them and literally. Seeing the items table really quick. Or if you can bring that up. Yeah, that would be really good. I don't know if he can do it. Probably not. Probably not. Uh, <laughs> so he's black. He saved his life from Syndra. If that had W had hit, he might have lost his life there. Doesn't hurt to play too safe. Ah, uh, it's fake. So chunky keys. Not used to it. You can tell by the paper. <laughs> Zach is disgusting, but it's not as terrifying as I thought it was going to be. But it's still disgusting. I'm not going to sit there and take that back. <laughs> yeah. That's because you guys been playing well around it for as much trouble as it can cause. It's definitely probably better. But they did also like they they acknowledged that for this as well. So we get two v two breaking out top lane. Tyler flashes over the wall to get the fear on the arena, but ults away to stay safe. A lot of utility burn there. They might be going for her mid. The ult's mid. Corky gets out. Herald is. Yep, they're going for Herald. Yuck. Definitely hard for SPSU to get that one after. It. Or we burn so much, so much utility. Looks like they'll just give it. They do have another Drake coming up in under a minute. Oh. Like, no, I couldn't make anything of it, which is 
Better than if she could. Yeah. <laughs> Brute. Minions. Yes. Especially for Scion, getting as much HP as you can from those minions. Here it is. Oh, there's that ugly thing. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just have to see my face. I had to see something. <laughs> I'm sure it's a lovely drink, but no. Oh, maybe seeing a little bit of a team fight in the river here for this drink. Yeah. about to break out. Oh! Oh! oh. Like, back on the back, like, oh, the Warwick way. gone. That Irelia has become yeah. strong. <laughs> Cyan got the Syndra. Oh, but unfortunately, that's an ace for them, and they are looks like they are probably going to be taking this free drink. Oh, no. Yeah, it looks like it. Oh no. Certainly not the end of the world as far as dragons, but money-wise, it's pretty scary. Let's see, currently we have... I can math. <laughs> 3.6. Yeah. So about 4k. We'll just round up. Looks really good enough for me. And tons of plating bop. Oh, no plating, never mind. But good tower damage nonetheless. Zach Brennan. Oh, it's Polari Zach, too! Yeah. <laughs> Got his trunks and his scooter mask on. Um, I, I must ask, what is your guys' opinion on the e Mumo skin? That it, it's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Which one was he? Oh, oh yeah. I know. Yeah, I don't remember. It's probably what it's called too. I'm sorry, but they're just not good. And another, another turret has been taken. Falls from that. I barely get the way. Corky does not, however. There has been a turret taken for SCSU. It was one of our minions. I don't know where it was though. I think it was Bob. I think it was Bob. <laughs> As far as my thoughts on Emumu, I think it's an SVSU staple, although it's not a good skin. Admittedly. I don't like Emumu. <laughs> Look, if I could see a 2008 like, emo child, <laughs> I would just look at my fans for 2008. Like, yeah. like, no offense to that, but. <laughs> don't need to see it in my modern day video game, thank you. Uh, I'll stick with him and his like little teacup that is possessed by the rat. Well, with ulting away, it was in a tough spot about to get pinched from the top laner and bot lane. Ult over the wall. Leona flashes in on the Varus. Lots of CC coming down. Flynn's already burned. Soraka three, ult. Three. Oh, God. It is a 5v4 Really down here in the river. Oh, the annihilated Corky, never mind. It's a 4v5. Does SVSU want to take the fight? They missed a lot. But Scion does not have a gauge of neither does Warwick. Scion, Warwick. Once again. Back goes under tower, gets his hands on the bottom of them. A lot of disruption. Samira gets into the back line. She's silenced. Soraka putting in the work. We're almost getting away. <laughs> they got the Samira kill, but at the cost of four of their champions. A really well played tower dive by them. Simply just too hard to escape. Unfortunately, that's another tower for them. That's their second floor of the game. Zach getting wolves. Or the trappers. I think I was not paying attention. 
We are seeing SCSU is now back up fully. Full Stop strength. The pick gets it. Very nice. nice. That one, Corky. A lot of money he needed back in his pocket. We will be seeing. Oh, Baron is up. Baron is indeed alive. Baron is up, and we have a minute on Kentek. watching me right now. Nothing's happening too much right now. That we've been able to see anyway. Definitely. Definitely looks like... Oh! Never mind. Another break picks. here in mid? Possibly? Try and make something happen. Scion ults down the river. His oh. team is far behind. It's a lot of CC. Leona ults. Doesn't stun anyone. And that's a pick. Oh. That's exactly what they needed. They have a switch here. They could try and keep forcing fights, or maybe they could even try and go for Baron since they just it lost a lot of things. We're going to be trying to go down port for Drake since that did just. Oh, yes, absolutely. The Drake is what they need. Right? Is that comes in. They're taking out Strata, unfortunately. But it does look like Corky is taking nice. down Syndrome. Come on. Aurelia trying to make plays happen. Oh. Dex still disrupting the fight, Samira gets so much damage oh. off. It's a little too difficult, not for now, without that Soraka silence. Sion trying to- oh, I'm fucking the Sion. Oh, Varus, very close to stealing the Drake, but doesn't quite get it. It's 2-2 two, two for dragons. Also, it looks like Leona's already gotten a head start up towards Baron. Definitely a good call for them. They have the numbers advantage far and away. Space Rock is the only one that's come up so far. Perky doesn't come up for another five seconds. Warwick did just come up though. But it does look like they might be able to get this Baron before anyone can reach them. They are destroying it pretty fast. Aurelius Samara damage is very high. Soraka looks like is just clearing out the mid lane. However, that's a barren buff for them. That's who's so got to play real defensive now. Stop those waves from getting as many towers as they can. The chickens. Look at those chickens. <laughs> yeah. Are we are we feeling confidante now? Oh man, it's. It's so hard. It's. I don't want to say they're completely out of it yet, but it's really a difficult one to come back on. It really is. I mean, the fights. They've been so disrupted by the Zack and, yeah, and the really. Leona. It's, it's so hard to pin down anyone. How are we looking over there, Erica? The team sounds like they're doing excellent. This is the repeat of last week, so you know. <laughs> Red did good. Blue was not doing good in that flip flop. I'm doing that right now. <laughs> so, they're up nine and a half. Nine and a half K. A lot of gold. It's at least three to four items. Oh. Executed by the six. Yeah, her damage was hard to, hard to ignore. And 
I think this syndrome may have been a good idea, man. If I do need to say that. I. Not like I want to make it sound like I'm doubting my boy in the mid lane, but. Yeah, not to say it was his fault. Oh, oh, the syndrome is just so No. I'm kidding. You're a man that let me draft it for one to blame. Towers are falling, Zach in under the tower all by himself. Three oh. more teammates there. Ah. Oh, what's going on? There's so much Aurelio. Samira is down for the count. Aurelio is going under the tower. Stop, but probably getting knocked up. Doesn't. Flashes out. Zach goes back in. Try and save her. Is silenced and will fall. But the turret's down now, too. They need to be careful how they play this because they could keep from. Down on Zach. So good for them. Another trying to do what she can. Sign yep. going. Doesn't quite hit the knockup. Aurelia so low. Dies to Varus. Triple kill is just what SSU needed right about now. But it didn't come without a cost. There were towers falling other lanes they still didn't get quite the monetary advantage they were looking for but it did get the items that Varus needed mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm drinking a fox what are you getting today so I'm pretty sure I'm just material because <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with you I'm drinking caffeine <laughs> yeah, I, I should have had some. I did not, though. It's, I'm very sad with myself for not drinking any. Do you at least have some sort of caffeine? Okay, so you're like, no. Oh, no. McDonald's Sprite, though. That, the battery itself? <laughs> <laughs> Dragon's up now. It looks like inside has started it. They're pulling it out a little bit so they can't just jump over the wall and steal it. Very tough fight. Very tough fight. Scion looking to try and blast Cone over the wall. It is uh... burned already. Scion is far too late. Don't think he'll get picked so easily. Not the end of the world. But now, they have... one away. Yep. Although, we didn't lose a man that time. That's true, yeah. We didn't lose anyone! <laughs> but they got a drink, so... It's a big problem. Definitely in the situation, that was probably as good as it gets. <laughs> you have 40 seconds coming Ooh, up on the next hard. Baron. Oh. That is very tough. He had nowhere to go. Uh, his flash wouldn't have even saved him. Is he probably the oh, still get hit oh, by the stun anyway. Wow. Nice stun. Doesn't quite hit the ult. Really, has got nowhere to dash to. Just tank the tower. Gets onto the Soraka. Pops Guardian Angel. Oh! Don't take the whole team together. He's getting shot by tower and still fights on. That's oh. awful. It only took four. Ah. <laughs> oh. They've also started Baron Wow. Continuing a mid push. Whoa. Their strength is incredible. Got a big kind of problem for SVSU is it seems both games that they've had, they've had more power. And they've been able to actually like, push through on both sides. Yeah. Man, oh man. I can see the skin. I can see kills over here. Oh no. Oh no! Who decided to let the column? Who decided to let Hal play? What the? Why are you gonna let him play? Better. Let's go. That's my guess. Oh. Dude is literally sick to his stomach right now. And he's yes. 
go as lethal. As lethal. However, this 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 hole over here is not in. not too hot. <laughs> not too hot over here. You're absolutely right about that. Uh, oh, now there can't be drag pit. Yeah. Just a little bit. Although we got, we still got a couple minutes. So I get, oh, they got tech bearing. I saw that. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I love that little, little screen animation. For <laughs> quirky. I don't like this outcome. <laughs> Like they are one three one right now, just trying to get as much value out of their Baron as they can. This is doing pretty well defending so far, though, but it's it's difficult nonetheless. Oh, absolutely. This Irelia has been disgusting, though. Yeah, going on the Soraka. Soraka has no silence anymore, but it's feared out of the way by Warwick. Still jumps on her. Still. Through five people to okay. kill Soraka. Zach gets in Samara just doing a ton of damage with her CC. Oh. There's the ult. She's not even taking tower. They've got two just absolute health bars of oh. teammates. That's. Oh, oh, they're just saying on the whole. The four or five, yes. Yeah. Varus. He's gotta shoot those arrows like his life depends on it, because if that Cinder hits one QE, just like that, he might be dead. He's absolutely dead. Uh, yeah. Is this what they call commentator's curse? Might be. I bring you two on here. This is the commentator's curse. <laughs> the towers are falling. Um, he's the only one alive so far. Nexus is barren. There's so many minions once again. Ugh. Oh. That is the second win for them. So unfortunately, they're.